The famous billionaire Warren Buffett once gave a sage piece of advice to investors. He said, look for companies with high profit margins. Margins are basically the difference between your revenue and costs expressed as a percentage. So if you buy social media software for $10, resell it for $100, your margin is $90 or 90%. High profit margins reflect companies with strong pricing power who have the ability to charge a premium for their goods and services. And if you're an agency, that's really the dream. My name is Vishal Tekshanani, and in this video, I'm going to share four tips and one common mistake when it comes to improving your margins and profitability. Let's get straight into it. Number one, sell to lucrative industries. If you want to make more money, sell to someone who has more money. Mind blown, I know. For example, I run my own agency on the side, which I take a lot of pride and joy in, and I focus only on financial services content marketing because I'm good at it, I know it, and clients in the finance industry typically have enormous marketing budgets. That's literally the easiest way to make a quantum leap in your margins. So think about industries where there are bigger pools of money, such as finance, baby products, and beauty. Number two, offering high value upsells. This is so easy, but so overlooked. Offering a high value upsell is literally the same as walking to a restaurant and being asked, would you like fries with that? Whenever my clients ask me to write content for them, I not only write the content, but I offer to repurpose that same content as social media posts and newsletter copy for them. And I sometimes post it on their behalf. I charge them for the extra time and they don't need to worry about doing that work. It's a win-win. You should be thinking along those same lines. So if you've sold social marketing to a local business, why not upsell social posts as well? If you sold a website, why not upsell SEO optimization? If you're interested in more content on this and other digital marketing topics, be sure to check out the rest of our YouTube channel and have a look at our content library for blogs, case studies, webinars, eBooks, and all that good stuff. There's a link in the description below. Number three, outsource it to the pros. Sometimes you get so overwhelmed with tasks from clients, you need to call in surge capacity to handle it. But rather than hiring and training a new employee, which takes time, why not outsource? The benefits of this strategy include paying a fixed cost per project, not incurring employee overheads, and you can dial up or dial down your fulfillment needs based on demand from clients. But a key tip, make sure you do your due diligence on your outsource fulfillment provider and look at the quality of their work. I'm serious, Dave from the Cayman Islands may be advertising $5 long form articles, but you're probably never going to see anything from Dave after you pay him. Number four, automate your reporting. Your time is money and you don't want to be spending all day updating your client base about what you've done for them. That time can be better spent selling to prospects or improving your business. A tool like the Vendasta Executive Report can provide your clients with regular, automated proof of performance updates and show them how their reputation, search rankings and web traffic have improved over time. And lastly, let's look at that common mistake, focusing solely on margins. From what many of our sales folks at Vendasta have seen, there are too many agencies who are way too focused on achieving high margins. Now, what's wrong with that? As an example, let's say I'm an agency selling social marketing software to 10 clients for $100 per month at a 90% margin. Off that $1,000 in revenue, I'm keeping $900. Yes, that margin is absolutely amazing, except $900 is not gonna cover my rent, right? Now, if my clients were happy to pay $300 a month to create content for them, and it costs me $150 to deliver that content via outsource fulfillment, I'm generating $3,000 of revenue at a 50% margin. Yes, my margin went lower, but I'm making $900 on the software, $1,500 on the content for a total of $2,400 a month. It's a much better revenue outcome and I can afford a roof over my head. So don't lose sight of the revenue picture. You wanna balance both good margins and a healthy revenue. I hope these five tips gave you food for thought for how you can run your agency. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.